Hi, it's Megan, and I'm going to review the Urban Decay Shattered Face Case. So first, in opening it, uh, sometimes I read that it's hard to open the bottom. I don't find it at all hard to open the bottom if I open the bottom first. So this is what you get. You get two blushes, a peach and a pink, and then you get a highlighter. So I did the pink on this cheek, peach on this cheek, and that's what it looks like. The blushes are, and you get a mirror right there, which I'm not going to show you because it's going to glare. And you get a super saturated, high gloss lip color in Love Chat. So, these are super light blushes. Um, I didn't go with a heavy hand, but you can see that they're still quite subtle on me. Um, every day, I have a lighter complexion with a yellow undertone. They work great on me. They don't look fake. They don't look... This one's a little peachy, a little natural. Um, you get in the pink. They just look fine. They look really pretty. Um, I used to think that I like the pink blushes better, but as I'm playing around with more and more makeup, I'm finding that I actually sometimes really prefer that kind of shade to that kind of shade. And I mixed in a little bit of bronzer with it. The uh, highlighter I used top my cheekbones right there and I put just a tiny dab in the middle of my eyes. It's like a golden tone. Um, it's a small little pot. I'm a huge highlighter fan so it's a small little pot. I'm going to show natural light swatches too so you can see what it looks like out in like the real sunlight. Um, but I think it's it's kind of a little metallic but it's, it's a good, for me, since it's kind of a gold tone, it's a good color. It's not like a harsh gold, it's just slightly gold. Um, this is a full sized. So this is $19. This whole thing is $44. So seems like a good deal, huh? Um, I love this color. I have this color and I have a backup for this color because I love it so much. So while I don't mind getting another one, uh, I didn't need another one, but that's fine. I'll use it. I like the color. It's a really pretty natural pink and uh, I hate the fact that you have to sharpen these. Um, they're very soft and it makes a mess and I have to clean my sharpener but the color itself I get a lot of compliments on and it's gorgeous so it's a little extra work. This is what the shattered case looks like. When I got it uh, I was like should I order this, should I not order this? When I got it I'm like you know what this is going to go in my gym bag because it's such neutral easy to work colors it's just like one of those things you just can use forever. Um, these are the colors. So you get, and they're all kind of slightly glittery, but not like chunky glittery. They're all just that really fine glitter, except for the last one. So this is like a dark gray. This is a purple, dark rich purple. This is a lighter gray. This is a pink. It's like a bone. And then you get a zero pencil. That's a travel size, it's not a full size. Zero is black, and again, I'll have the swatches. I put zero on my upper waterline, because I was trying with this lip color for a more natural look. I think this would actually work to, to create just like this amazing smoky going out night look too, but I don't like it with the love child lip color. I would do a more nude if I were to really kind of smoke these, these up. Um, zero, I think it's a bad rap. Everyone says Perversion is like the best black pencil and Urban Decay makes it. I like zero too. Maybe Perversion is a little bit better, but zero is amazing. It's a good color. Um, I love it. Do I like Perversion better? Yeah, I do, but I like this one a lot. I really adore it. And the thing about the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils is that they just last forever. I'm really hard on my makeup. I go to yoga, I go work out, I run around, I like work long hours, I've got kids. My makeup has to last and the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils on me are the best I've found. So could it be better as perversion? I don't know. Whatever. So what I did with the color, so first of all, I think this set is something, like I said, you could throw in your gym bag, you can throw in your purse, and with a little bit of like some brushes or even use your fingers, you could kind of make yourself up during the day or after 12 hours, whenever you need to redo your makeup. They're just really good, usable, neutral colors. You can either really smoke them up or you can really tone them down. So I love how versatile this is. I love how flattering the colors are. 
Um, these colors are incredibly pigmented and I think they're pretty neutral as long as you're okay with the gray as opposed to like the brown neutrals versus the gray. Um, when I was doing this lighter gray one, I actually, I put it on my lid and it came out so pigmented I was shocked because I always use an eyeshadow primer and so that means they go on a little bit deeper anyway, but I was shocked at how pigmented it was. So I love these and with a primer, I don't try eyeshadows anymore without a primer. With a primer they last kind of 8 to 12 hours just depending on my day. Um, so this to me, there's one other thing I was going to say, okay, to get my look, I did a ton of brushes. I don't usually use so many brushes, but, and I think I lost, yeah, I lost one or two on the floor. But, um, for the blushes, I used a brush like this. I'm probably the only person on earth who uses a blush brush for a highlighter, but I use this for the highlighter, just like that. I used a little bronzer. This is my bronzer brush. And then I did... I did the bone color up here with this kind of a brush. I did the pink right in here, just a little tiny bit. And then I also used a brush like this uh, with the lighter gray to kind of go out like that. And then I had two smaller brushes, which are somewhere on the floor. One, um, I used the, this color, the lighter one, to line under my eye. Then I lined this darker one on the top of my eye, but I really blended it out so it doesn't look like it's got a a serious line. This is where it gets tricky. I used a smaller brush to take the purple and really put it into the crease, but then I blended it a little bit down part way under my lower lid. And then I took this darker uh, gray and blended just a tiny, not too much, because I wanted to keep that purple color because I really like how just rich and amazing the purple is. I didn't want to lose that. I mean, look at that color. It's like this plum, just amazing really gorgeous. I didn't want to lose that so I just put a tiny bit of the darker gray in there just to um, kind of darken the um, crease itself. So with my eyes it doesn't really work to do a gradation of shades going like lighter to darker. It's just too much space. So what I do instead is I do the lighter here and then I just build up a little bit more in the crease. This works for my eyes and then I blend it with just kind of the, the lower under eye lining. So overall, what do I think of this? I think that this is, if you're someone like me, kind of a working single mom, this is a great product. Or someone who works long hours, who travels, just because everything in here is so workable and neutral and usable. Like there's nothing shocking, bright, hard to blend, hard to use. It's a really solid, solid, um, solid package. You know, mine doesn't stay shut though. I will point that out. My top does not stay shut. I cannot get it to. So this would come apart in my bag. I would need to put a rubber band around it, which is kind of annoying, actually. Um, pretty packaging. Is it a little bulky? I don't Maybe a little, but it's pretty sleek overall. Um, who would not like it? Anyone who doesn't like grays or purples, you would hate this. And I wonder, you know, I don't know. The blushes might be a little light for someone with a really dark skin tone. But for me, this is one of those that... If it stayed shot, would be a really great every day just throw in your bag and run, which I do a lot of. So I really like this. I'm glad, I'm glad I got it. I almost didn't. I'm glad I got it. Thanks for your time. Um, one thing I'm thinking, I got this, the Shattered, and I also got the Anarchy Face Case. I'm considering doing um, a post where I compare the two. They're really different, but when I was looking at them for the first time, I wasn't sure which one to get. So if that makes sense, please let me know. And if you have feedback or anything like that, please let me know and subscribe on YouTube. Thanks.